Welcome to the F Asterisking Show. Listen up, you donkey. You think you're just here to take orders and sling plates? You're dead wrong. You're the face of this restaurant, and your job is to give these customers an experience they won't forget, an experience they'll pay for. That means mastering the art of upselling. You need to know how to move product, boost those check averages, and make sure those tips are fatter than a Christmas goose. I'm Gus, and in this video, I'm going to break down upselling step by step so you can turn those tables faster and make more money. Get ready to learn from the best, you muppet. Right, you want to impress me? You want to impress these customers? Then the first thing you need to do is get your head out of your arse and into that menu. I don't want to see you fumbling around like an idiot when a customer asks what's in the bloody fish stew. You need to know that menu inside and out. Every ingredient, every cooking method, every allergen, you got it? If a customer asks if we can make something gluten-free, you better not be giving them a blank stare. And don't even think about forgetting the specials. Those are your money makers, your golden tickets. Learn them, love them, and for God's sake, taste them. How can you recommend something you wouldn't even feed to your dog? Get in that kitchen, try everything, and I mean everything. You need to be able to describe each dish like it's the bloody holy grail of cuisine. This is basic training, people. Master your menu or you might as well kiss your tips goodbye. You lot, you think you can just walk up to a table and start spouting off the menu like a broken record player? Wrong! You need to learn how to read the bloody customer. Look at them. Are they dressed like they've got money or are they counting their pennies? Are they a couple on a date or a family with screaming kids? Each customer is different and you need to tailor your approach accordingly. Listen to their conversations, what are they ordering? If they're going for the cheap cuts of meat, you know they're not going to spring for the lobster bisque. But if they're ordering cocktails and appetizers like it's going out of style, you better believe they're open to some serious upselling. Ask them questions. Don't be a bloody mute. Find out what they like, what they're in the mood for. Are they celebrating something special? Perfect. Time to push that expensive bottle of champagne. Remember this is a dance, not a brawl. You need to be smooth, charming, and most importantly, observant. Now you've got the menu down, you're reading the customers like a book, it's time to start selling. But you're not just taking orders, are you? You're painting a bloody masterpiece with your words. None of this. Do you want fries with that? Nonsense. You're better than that. Talk about the food like it's a religious experience. Describe the juicy, tender steak, the crispy golden fries, the rich, decadent chocolate cake. Make them taste it in their minds before it even hits their lips. Use words like mouth-watering, irresistible, divine. Make them drool, make them crave it, make them need it. And don't be afraid to get personal. Tell them what your favorite dishes are, what you recommend. People trust passion, they trust authenticity. So ditch the monotone and bring on the flavor. Make them feel like they're missing out if they don't order everything on the menu. Chapter 4. It's all about the bloody pairings. You think you can serve a dry, flavorless chicken breast without suggesting a nice, crisp Sauvignon Blanc to go with it? Are you having a laugh? Pairings, you donkey pairings! This is how you elevate the dining experience and line your pockets at the same time. When a customer orders a steak, you better believe you're suggesting a bold Cabernet or a robust Merlot. Fish? A crisp Chardonnay or a refreshing Pinot Grigio. You need to know what drinks complement each dish like you know the back of your hand. And it's not just about the booze. Appetizers, sides, desserts, everything is fair game. Someone orders a burger? Might I suggest our truffle fries and a side of our creamy coleslaw? They're already spending, so why not nudge them towards a little something extra? Remember, it's all about creating a symphony of flavors, a culinary journey for their taste buds. And who better to guide them on this journey than you, the master conductor of the dining experience? Chapter 5. Specials are your secret weapon. Listen up, you lot. Specials aren't just some random dishes the chef whipped up because he was bored. They're your secret weapon, your golden opportunity to upsell the hell out of this place. When you're rattling off the specials, you better do it with the enthusiasm of a game show host. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special treat for you. Our chef has prepared a limited edition, melt-in-your-mouth, pan-seared foie gras with caramelized figs and a balsamic reduction. It's so good it'll make you want to slap your mama. Emphasize the exclusivity, the limited availability, the freshness of the ingredients. 
make them feel like they're missing out on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity if they don't order it. And don't forget about seasonal dishes. People go mad for fresh seasonal ingredients. So if you've got a strawberry tart made with strawberries picked that morning, you better believe you're shouting it from the rooftops. Remember, specials are your friends, your allies in the battle for bigger tips. Use them wisely, my little upselling warriors. Chapter 6. Elevate the bloody experience. You're not just serving food here, you're selling an experience. And part of that experience is about making your customers feel like royalty, even if they're dressed like they got dressed in the dark. So how do you elevate the experience? By suggesting those little extras that make all the difference. Would you like some freshly grated Parmesan cheese on your pasta? May I tempt you with our homemade whipped cream and chocolate sauce for your coffee? Look for opportunities to highlight the unique offerings of your restaurant. Our bread is baked fresh in-house every morning. Our ice cream is made with locally sourced milk and cream. These details matter, they show you care, and they justify spending a little extra. Remember, you're not just a server, you're a concierge of culinary delights. Your job is to guide your customers towards the best possible dining experience, and that includes encouraging them to indulge in all the little luxuries that make a meal truly memorable. Chapter 7. Timing is everything, you donkey! You think you can just shove a dessert menu in their face while they're still chewing on their main course? Get out of my kitchen! Timing is everything in the art of upselling. You need to be strategic, subtle, and always one step ahead. The moment a customer sits down, you're on. Can I offer you a refreshing beverage while you browse the menu? May I tempt you with our signature cocktail? Get them in the mood for spending from the get-go. Throughout the meal, look for natural opportunities to suggest additional items. When you're clearing plates, would anyone care for another round of drinks? Can I interest you in our delicious appetizers? And for God's sake, don't forget about dessert. Just when they think they're done, hit them with the sweet stuff. We have a truly divine chocolate lava cake that will blow your mind. Our homemade apple pie is the perfect way to end a perfect meal. Remember, timing is key. Be observant, be attentive, and strike when the iron is hot. Chapter 8. Confidence is sexy, fear is not. Listen, you can forget everything I've said if you don't have one crucial ingredient. Confidence. You need to believe in what you're selling. You need to own that dining room like it's your personal stage. Don't mumble, don't hesitate, don't apologize for suggesting something extra. Stand tall, make eye contact, and deliver your recommendations with the conviction of a seasoned professional. Enthusiasm is contagious. If you're excited about the food, your customers will be excited too. Smile, be passionate, and let your love for the culinary world shine through. Remember, you're not being pushy, you're being helpful. You're offering your customers the opportunity to experience the best of the best. So channel your inner rock star and sell the hell out of that menu. Chapter 9. Practice makes perfect, you muppet. Do you think you can just waltz in here and become an upselling superstar overnight? This isn't some amateur cooking show. Mastering the art of upselling takes practice, dedication, and a willingness to learn from your mistakes. Role play with your colleagues, practice your descriptions, your pairings, your timing. Get feedback from your manager, from your fellow servers, even from the bloody customers themselves. The more you practice, the more natural it will become. You'll develop your own style, your own rhythm, your own way of connecting with customers, and guiding them towards an unforgettable dining experience. And remember, even the best chefs make mistakes, so don't beat yourself up if you have an off night. Learn from your blunders, adjust your approach, and come back stronger than ever. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So lace up your shoes, get out there, and start selling like your life depends on it. Outro, now go forth and upsell. So there you have it, you bunch of misfits. My masterclass in the art of upselling. Remember, it's not about ripping off the customer, it's about enhancing their experience while boosting those sales and tips. Know your menu, read your customers, paint a picture with your words and time your suggestions like a pro. Most importantly, believe in yourself and your ability to sell the bloody hell out of that menu. Now get out there, make me proud and show those customers what a real dining experience is all about. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more brutally honest tips on how to conquer the restaurant world.